Welcome into the Escrigado High School Playbook. Um, here we are, the season's almost half over. You know, this is week number five. And so now, yeah, I think it is fair you can at least start thinking about the playoffs. You know, how many games you need to win? How do you get there? What kind of seeding are you going to get, right? First things first, though, so you need all the wins you can get. I know that, so let's go to the highlights tonight. A big time game in class four. You got number five, Blanchard, and number three, Newcastle. Blanchard on the move to the big fella. Hudson Permian. It's just too easy, right? Blanchard strikes first, but uh, you know this thing was going to go back and forth, which it did. Watch the defense. TJ Bradford with the hit and then uh, without the helmet. And it leads to TJ Bradford. Pay it off. Loses the helmet again, but uh, Blanchard is going to win this thing 28 13. Good win for the Blanchard Lions on Friday night. Let's get to the big class. Here we go. Class 6A1. And Santa Fe, they got to hang on, but they're going to get that done, right? They'll win again. They'll beat Edmund North. They're up big. And then another good win for Norman North. Yeah, it is. 28-14. They beat Broken Arrow, which gets us to the Escrigiano High School Playbook Game of the Week. We bring in Elgin Rucker. I don't lose you losing stuff. That's okay. That's how it goes. <laughs> That's why I um, take the iPad. You had, a, you had a couple of good games in Class 2A. Yeah, it was a really good game. We're talking Chisholm and Millwood, two teams at the top of Class 2A, District 2. It's obviously district play right now. Yeah. So, like you talked about earlier, these games are super important. And you know, seeding and, and who's going to play who, who makes the playoffs. These games could matter. So let's get over to the highlights. Millwood Falcons hosting, like I said, the Chisholm Longhorns. It was a long night for the Longhorns. And this next play, I guarantee, will be felt in the morning. First quarter, third down. Longhorns going for the first down. How about you go get some Gatorade? Oh, better. Take it to the sidelines. That's a three and out. Now it's Millwood's turn. And on their very first play of the game, Lamar Davis turns it into a track meet. Look at the form, elbows, knees, everything. Running like he just missed the bus. But when you're that fast, you don't need a ride. Touchdown Falcons, and they jump on the board quick. Score now 14-0 Millwood. Longhorns got to the red zone a couple of times while I was there, but had a hard time getting points. This was one of those drives. Big catch and another big hit, but Jackson Cadell holds on to it, and yet they don't score. Meanwhile, Millwood was scoring when they didn't even try to watch this play. Falcons drop back to pass. Scrambles, looking for an option. Tells him, just keep going. He finds one. It's tipped. And guess who? That's Jaden Nickens, the Oklahoma Sooner commit, who grabs it out of nowhere, breaks free, and reaches past the goal line for the touchdown. But watch this. Get your groove on, big dog. Get your groove on. Big time play and a big time win for the Falcons. They win 34 to 16 and improve to four and one. So from what I saw, that's a really impressive football team. Offense, defense, playmakers, making plays. That's how you win football games. They are good. Uh, very talented. A lot of speed, and they showed that off tonight. No yeah, doubt they did. about that. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, to another game tonight, Connor Bergen was at Piedmont and Guthrie. It's the battle of two undefeated programs in the 5A tonight as the Piedmont Wildcats travel to Guthrie to face the Blue Jays. For the Wildcats, they're looking to add on to their historical start of a season, while the Blue Jays, they're looking to silence the noise on their home turf. Going into the second half, Guthrie holding on to a big lead, looking to add on, but the Wildcats defense isn't going down easy, getting the interception off the ricochet. But those Blue Jays, they want to get the final knockout hit. Into the fourth, Jaden Harper looking for the dagger. Quick spin off the punt return. He's off to the races to the near sideline for stepping out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Guthrie now looking to convert. First play after the return, Zane Thomas finds a gap, makes a defender miss, finding the end zone, put the cherry on top with the 35 to nothing win. Now 6-0 on the season, the Blue Jays look to keep things rolling as they will hit the road to face Bishop McGinnis next week. Reporting from Jelsma Stadium here in Guthrie, Connor Bergen, KOCO 5 Sports. Very nice. Good win there for the home team. Uh, finally tonight, a couple of scores here from the big class in Class 6A2. Owasso all over Mustang. And how about the Enid Plainsman getting it done tonight? 49 to 42. Hey, all right, last game. Let's get to dropping down to class 6A2. You get the number one team in the state, the Muskogee Ruffers. On the road against PC West. Tell you what, if you had any questions about Muskogee, boy, they looked the part tonight. Man, that is a good throw and a good catch and over the defender. And it's kind of something they did all night. Yeah, they, they just dancing out there. 
with a big win against the Patriots. Muskogee going to get this thing done 69 to nothing. I know this. They will be tough to beat this season. After uh, another great night of high school football in the books.